very early in the morning. But I'm already late and I have to hurry because it's starting to get light. But I'm back in the same location where I saw some roe deer a few weeks ago. And the plan is I'm going to go out to that kind of little bit of raised ground where I could see out over the marsh and I'm going to get my camo on and get down low on the ground and uh, basically wait for it to get light and see if I can see anything. But yeah, I'm slightly late this morning um, and it's already starting to get a little bit light in the sky so I'm going to have to get a move on. But uh, I'll take you along with me as, uh, as best I can. Um, I don't know how much vlogging I'll actually do when I'm out there because obviously if I'm being all stealthy and uh, trying to wait for road here the last thing I want to be doing is uh, talking to camera and sort of revealing myself to the wildlife but uh, yeah we'll go along and we'll see what we can get and yeah this is exciting this is the first time I've been out uh, kind of for an early morning trip to look for wildlife for ages so it's going to be good either way isn't it
All right. That was pretty good. A lovely morning session of uh, watching roe deer. Actually culminated in uh, a bit of action where uh, I was just walking along back up towards the golf course. There were two roe deer grazing basically where I'm sitting now. And uh, I was just setting up to take a couple of quiet uh, shots of them. But then a couple of guys with their dogs um, spooked them and they ran off across the, across the grass and I wasn't ready with the settings. Mm -hmm. I was desperately scrabbling to try and get a higher shutter speed, just sort of rolling the command down on the back of the camera, just hoping I could get uh, a decent shutter speed. I was in single point autofocus, so I was trying to get a focus point on them and trying to get some shots as they were moving. And I think I did get some, but they're not particularly sharp, but I'll put them on the end anyway because they're quite cool seeing them, seeing the sort of the shapes that the, the deer make as they run. They're quite interesting. But yeah, sitting uh, quietly there uh, in the camo seemed to work quite well. Um, had that one roe deer sort of walked past, it didn't seem to be uh, too aware that I was there or worried. It was kind of just. Uh, pottering along and grazing, and that was really, really nice. Um, but I didn't really see anything else there. Um, but then walking back, walking back this way, there are any number of roe deer out on the flats that I could see kind of from the path. Um, I think it must have been at least six individuals, and uh, so I'm quite glad that, uh, quite glad that I spotted them. In fact, that that's one. But this is really good because I'm going to be definitely going to be coming back here and I know that there are lots of roe deer in here now. So yeah, it's good. Um, sunrise is only going to be getting earlier as we progress into spring and summer. And uh, that's good because it means I can get out really early with the camera, get some nice morning light, see some deer and other wildlife, and then get home before I have to go to work or just before the baby wakes up and the chaos of the day ensues. Um, talking of which, I'm going to have to kind of finish this video off now and get on home. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely place this. Looks like it's going to be a really nice day, so. That's going to be good, look forward to that. Um, now, two bits of kit I've been playing with today that you won't have seen on the YouTube channel before. The first one, I'm wearing it. This is a Gilly Poncho from Tragapan, and it's actually a Christmas and birthday present from a partner. And Unfortunately, because probably Brexit, let's just blame Brexit, um, the last time I came out to look for the road here, it was still stuck in transit somewhere, and so I didn't have it until quite a bit after, after Christmas. But hey, it's here now, and it's pretty good. I started off trying to use it a bit like a bag hide, right over my head with the lens poking out of the, the sort of head opening. And I quickly discovered that's actually not very good in the sort of early morning low light because while you can sort of see through the through this kind of mesh of this, it's it's okay in sort of daylight like this, but early on when it's gloomy, I, it just removes too much of your ability to see. So what I ended up doing is just wearing it as a poncho with the hood up. And what I think I might do in future is combine it with the ghillie suit so that my arms are sort of properly um, covered if I move them out because I know that I, my arm comes out and it's a bit kind of a bit exposed. Other bit of kit I'm playing with is, let me just extract it from here, a bean bag because I wanted to get really low to the ground because I sort of sussed out that uh, spot for watching the deer from um, last time, I decided that it would be really good to try and use a bean bag there rather than a tripod because I'd be able to kind of move the bean bag into different orientations depending on exactly how high off the ground I wanted the camera because that's already up on a bit of a bank. You're already quite high up. You don't want the extra height of a like full up tripod um, because then you're just so much higher than the eye level of the the subject, and that's not so much not so. Uh, appealing in the in the final result but yeah pretty 
cheap bean bag off uh, the internet. I can't remember who I bought it off now, but I'll put it. I'll put a link in the description. And um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Pre-filled polystyrene beads. I think I might at some point change the beads to something kind of a bit more solid and make it a little bit emptier so that it kind of holds its form a little bit better but for now the polystyrene beads it came with absolutely fine jobs are good un. so yeah i think it's time to uh, go back up to the car and uh, get home a cup of coffee <laughs> did feel awfully early getting up at uh, five leaving the house at half past <laughs> Uh, yeah totally worth it totally worth it really nice out here hope some of the shots came out because uh, you know that's what we really came out for but is it is it really no what we really came out for is the experience of being out here and having a lovely morning out here on the uh, on the marshes and some photos would be nice they certainly make the video more appealing but uh, yeah I hope uh, either way I hope you've enjoyed the video and um, you know if you have leave a comment tell me what you thought of it uh, like the video um, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that already and uh, yeah I'll see you uh, see you on the next one um, definitely got some plans uh, with a baby in the house I can't commit to any of those plans but uh, I do want to do some more camera trapping in the garden with the proper cameras and triggers so that's coming up at some point and uh, yes obviously if I get to sneak out of a morning like this again then uh, I'll try and bring you along on that as well so see you then